and welcome and thank you for joining me. Today's video is not going to be logging into Salesforce and solving a use case, but it's more geared towards um, aligning you with your career goals. So if you're a beginner who is looking to get started in into Salesforce or trying to figure out how they can align their current diff skill sets or interest with different paths in Salesforce, um, or maybe you're already in Salesforce um, and you're looking to make uh, that switch, um, maybe from marketing to Salesforce admin or maybe from admin to developer or architect. So this video is for you and if you already know what you're doing and where you are in your journey, uh, then you are free to skip this video or maybe share with anyone who you think might be benefited from this. Okay, um, so also this video is not meant to be an exhaustive list and this is the thing that you need to do to succeed. This is just from my experience and what I have seen my friends and colleagues doing. Um, so I try to kind of jot that all down here um, as an example so that can help you uh, with your journey. So I'm going to start from engineering. So all these things that I have here are different uh, place you are probably at today. So maybe you are a fresh college graduate from an engineering, um, civil, software, IT, aeronautical like myself, or any engineering really, or any graduate. Um, so you are starting here and you heard about Salesforce. Um, it sounded really interesting and obviously there are tons of jobs offers for Salesforce. So where do you start? I would highly recommend for anyone who is starting Salesforce to start with admin path. And also, just to call out, this video is not for guiding you for certification paths. This is solely for um, your knowledge and experience in different fields. So when I say admin path, that means uh, really being familiar with the Salesforce platform, different object model, um, object structure, and what are the automations and pages and security and all that good stuff. So admin path is really for everyone who is um, who wants to do something in Salesforce platform and I highly recommend for everyone um, even if your final goal is to become a developer or an architect um, admin is something that anybody can everyone should be doing um, if you are in Salesforce ecosystem okay so you might be Salesforce admin and you know learning about all these different tools that Salesforce makes you makes it available for you um, and then you can either go to consultant route or developer path. So the difference there is consultants are, I see is more subject matter expert in like gener general Salesforce. And if you are more who wants to deal more with the client, uh, get the requirements, really try to solve their problems and jot down all those requirements and maybe do some admin work and identify what are the different um, tools or how do you want to solve a particular problem that's where the consultant comes in and usually you, you have partners consulting partners and you can probably work through there um, developer path is more for anyone who love coding and who love to code um, in the tool who already probably you have software engineering degree and you want to get utilize that knowledge into coding um, so developer path is probably something you might want to look into and obviously um, architect is something more deeper so if you have once you have few years of experience you can start looking into architect path and there are obviously tons of certifications for all of these um, but it's it's a lot to cover in one video okay so maybe you are next you are probably customer service and I try to align that with admin path as well and maybe service cloud so you are going to start noticing that in Salesforce, there are different roles. And if I have to divide in major, you are, I'm going to say admin role, developer, architect, and um, different specialist roles. So there could be somebody who is service cloud specialist, who is all about service cloud, call center, setup, uh, omni channel, and all that live chat, those kind of stuff. And if you, if you are already in customer service and you might already have knowledge, that business knowledge that you can bring into the Salesforce system and help the potential client or end user solve their problems. So that's really helpful to have that business knowledge in Salesforce. Um, and why not apply that if you already have it? Same for sales. So if you 
if you are somebody who is in sales and maybe you are already using Salesforce as a tool, as an end user, but you're looking to um, take to that next step, maybe you are more interested in how to actually build that tool for the end users, then I recommend um, admin path, obviously. And then there is something called sales cloud, which is all about accounts, opportunities, leads, and those objects that you are probably already using in your day-to-day -day life. Um, and coming from that background will really help you define those problems for your customers because you are already you have already used the system and you already know what they might want. So sales cloud consultant. And then if you go further deep, you have something called CPQ, which is configure price code. So how do you sell? How do you code, code an item? All those stuff. Um, and if you don't want to go into more of that specific specialist roles, uh, obviously I've broken down into app builder, which is more advanced administrator and app builder is basically you are only clicking in the system and building things so you can do a lot of things in salesforce just by clicking and drag and drop and no coding required um, or if you are interested in coding dev path and that's pretty much similar for everyone and then if you're coming from a finance background same concept and there is also like a whole bucket of things um, called aptus uh, clm DocuSign. Uh, maybe since you already probably are using those tools, um, you might find find it interesting to actually configure those tools uh, in the back end. So that's something uh, you might want to look into. If you're coming from arts background, um, obviously Salesforce admin and depends on what kind of person you are. Uh, are you are you more uh, into interacting with the clients and getting that business requirement and making sure uh, the tech technology team understands what the requirements are, then probably business analyst is something that might suit you. And then obviously solution architect um, is more higher that path. Uh, and maybe you are more into staying in the background and solving the problems and actually doing the hands-on um, than maybe dev path. And it could be either coding or clicking, but you can sit on the dev path and get into that architect uh, level. So these are all pretty much similar. Um, then I have uh, data. If you have a data background, maybe your Tableau or any other BI tools, Salesforce admin, Sales Cloud. Salesforce highly recommends having those certifications. Um, and then Einstein. Einstein is a whole different world, sub world in itself. So maybe that's something that might benefit you uh, looking, looking to Einstein. Uh, dashboards and Einstein discovery uh, that there's an AI piece to it so if that's something that interests you and then um, we have marketing media if you're coming from marketing background and maybe you are already using marketing cloud as a marketing cloud admin and you know all about marketing journeys and whatnot um, you might want to further uh, streamline into Pardot uh, learn other tools like Datorama and Einstein but if you want to make a jump to Salesforce side, then follow this path where admin, obviously, and then sales cloud, and depending on how, which one you find more interesting, um, clicking versus code, then you can uh, streamline your career accordingly. And then if you already have Java, C Sharp, JavaScript background, um, then Salesforce developer is probably what might interest you, um, obviously admin, you still need to be aware of what the platform is all about. That's why I added admin here. But uh, just just in general, Salesforce has two uh, languages that we use, which is Apex and JavaScript. So if you already know Java, Apex is very similar to Java. It's also object-oriented programming. And JavaScript, which is Lightning Web Components or Aura Components, uses JavaScript. So if you already know those languages, um, it might be a very smooth transition into Salesforce. Obviously, there are certain limits in Salesforce that you need to be aware of, but, um, and then obviously, uh, technical architect I added there. And there's Heroku developer, which basically any language you can build on, even Python or C Sharp, you can build on Heroku. And then if you are into, more into integration, then you have, you can become integration specialist. You can become a specialist of connecting Salesforce to different tools, um, or a mules of developer, so there are certain, a lot of paths that you can take and it really um, depends on where your interest lies and what your current skill set is. And I hope you found this video helpful and um, if you wanted me to dig more into 
uh, any of these, please let me know. And thank you for uh, watching.